we are at that point where I've been talking about the coolant tubes for a really long time but it's finally happening so before installing the coolant tubes let me just talk about it a little bit let me go through the the work stream basically tell you what I'm gonna do then do what I'm gonna do first thing this one here this is the main it's the filler neck as you can see here it goes over here on the front it's got the front the thermostat on the back side over here it's got what they call the the they call the water valve yeah it's basically another thermostat so these these thermostats and this tube over here will be bolted down like that okay so let me just flip this one over you do have another one in here the name might just be plain old coolant tube I really can't remember right now but then this one goes here bolted here this is the one one of them oh yeah well it's missing an o-ring that's why it's that it's got that much play so before all that something else that's missing in here knock sensors I would like to replace to install those before putting this one down because I'll just have better better clearance that way right so let's do the knock sensors first I have a nest of them and if you have an 06 M45 and you also have the JD if you're doing this as part of the JDM job or the you know if you have an 03 M45 as well the Q45 series the the way you you can remember what sensors go where is this I labeled some of them and they had the numbers there you go the blue plugs go to the 06 M45 and then the gray plugs these ones here are the JDM ones the JDM ones being the uh, the ones from Japan and also the ones from the 03 M45 and the Infinity, Infinity Q45 as well so right now I'm looking at this and I realize that I like the I like the knock sensors themselves these are a little more a little tighter with regards to their spec I'm sure you can install the other ones here and work just fine but these guys read a, a narrower band so I noticed that one of my plugs this one here was shattered wouldn't be too big of a problem but while we have it out why not why not switch it out right so I'll come here press this out I guess I need pliers. Okay. Kind of playing it risky right now. What I should have done right in the beginning was remove this, set it down, remove this. Set it down. Perfect. So this will be spare. I mean, it's not all bad. It works. It's just that the plug, the connection is broken. I'd rather not mess with it that way. And there you go. I realized there's n no way to connect this one here. I'll fight it later. For now, let me just do this first. Look it up. Oh, great. What, what's happening to these things? Well, I suppose I can't use this one either. Because the damn thing is broken. Well, it did not click. That's why I was concerned about it. Usually, you're supposed to get a, a click to like that. So whatever it is, it's wrong with the left side. But so whatever it is, it's wrong with the left side, but seems like both of them are goofy. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this thing apart and disassemble it. And once I do that, I'll put the good one from the right side on the left side. Okay. 
I don't know if you need to, if I need to keep recording for this. Good, now that the knock sensor fiasco is over, I'm going to put everything away and I'm going to hold dear the next set of um, knock sensor wires that I get because they, they do cost quite a little bit of money from Nissan. I said, I just didn't understand why they had to change the design from one year to, you know, from one generation to the other. Again, as a recap, this is what you have. And no, I've tested this. You cannot just install one of these in place of the other. Man, it's about to make me a liar right now, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. You cannot install it. So, yeah, for whatever reason, Nissan just decided to switch it up on us. This one here is very new, by the way. It's a JDM one, right? Yeah, they look new. Nice. That's a click you want. Nice. Okay, so let's install this knock sensor and just stop playing with it. Because I see potential to break my heart over here. Okay, 12 millimeter, let's get that out of the way. Definitely welcome to use your torque wrench over here. And I think this one's just about eight. Yeah, that's good, that's not going anywhere. All right, perfect. Alright, we've been talking about the coolant system for so long, even I want to get it out of the 